How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing the story of what if Goku was teleported to King Kai's planet. In the last part, we got an early granola showing up and joining the team. So if you want to see how that went, then make sure to click the link up above to go and check out the last episode. For this one, we're heading into the Android Saga, so if you want to see more of this scenario, then make sure to like this video and subscribe, but this video can get 450 likes, then I'll make sure to continue with a part 4. As always, huge shout out to all of my amazing patrons for your continued support, as it really helps out the channel and means a whole lot. With all that intro stuff out of the way, let's get right into the video. We begin with Goku and Granola training hard together after Granola has been revived. Remember, this version of Granola isn't as powerful as his canon self, due to him not wishing to become the strongest being in the universe. So, this version of Goku is a lot more powerful than him right now. Since he has been able to stack his master version of Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan, he can't unleash his full power on Granola, as he doesn't want to kill him, and the two just spar normally, with Goku really trying to get down reaction times by dodging Granola's key bullets. It's some good training on reaction time, and they bond together with Goku learning more about Granola's backstory on the Saiyans, and how one apparently killed his mother, and how he was then raised by an Namekian. Goku is pretty surprised to hear about another elder Namekian, and says that sounds like the Kami he knows, so that's pretty cool. Granola asks who Kami is, and Goku tells him he'll introduce him. Goku takes Granola up to the lookout, where he meets Kami, and he exclaims how familiar he is to Manito. Kami is happy to hear that there are more Namekians out there, and is happy that his Dragon Balls managed to bring back one of his own kind, and it would be nice to meet another elder who has control of Dragon Balls, though it is odd how there are only two of them compared to the usual seven that he has. Granola says he has no idea why, but he can go back to his planet and pick up Manito, that way the elders can get introduced to each other. It can be a form of repayment to the god for making the Dragon Balls that brought him back in the first place. Manito would definitely agree too, since he is not a Kami and doesn't have any godly duties. Kami says it would be nice to meet Namekian who isn't an evil version of himself, and one who is also a member of the Dragon Clan, so he's definitely down for it. Goku asks if he can go along as well, since he would love to visit Granola's home planet. Of course, he is allowed to come along as well and the two enter Granola's ship to head to Serial. On the trip, Goku gets bored just sitting around and thinks that maybe after this, he should learn that move the Yardrat used in the afterlife to bring him to King Kai's planet. That way he can teleport great distances and not take up a lot of time. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the video, but it's sponsorship time. This video is sponsored by Fandom Ion, who sells some really great anime and manga merch, and a bunch of other cool merch with some pretty cool prices, such as Marvel merch as well for all you Marvel nerds like me. If you want to get these fine items for an even lower price, then make sure you click the link in the description down below and put in a discount code DAMON for not 5% off, but 10% off of your order. Again, that's code DAMON for 10% off of your order. Hopefully, you won't regret your purchases. Now, let's get back into the video. Once the two arrive, Granola leads Goku to Manito's hut, and Manito is pleased to see Granola again, since he thought he was dead. Though, he is even more shocked to see Goku, and asks if this is really Bardock. Goku has no idea what he's talking about and says that his name is Goku. Manito says he looks just like Bardock, and he must be related to him in some way. Goku tells the Namekian he doesn't know much about his parentage, but it would be cool to learn more about them. Manito sees that Granola has really formed a bond with the Saiyan, and then decides to tell him the truth about what happened to his mother, since he has this new Saiyan friend of his to calm him down. Granola is shocked to hear that Bardock actually saved them, and that the heaters have been using him for years, and Manito knew that. He gets really mad, and Goku has to step in and try to get him to calm himself down, saying it's not Manito's fault, since he just did what he thought was right in protecting him. The heaters are off-world right now, but they have no idea where they are, and Granola really wants his revenge now, and after hearing that Bardock defeated Gas, he thinks they're gonna need his help, since nobody's been able to defeat Gas. And if this Bardock guy could, they could use his advice. Goku says that's impossible, since he and his son are the last surviving Saiyans, as the others were all killed by Frieza. Granola says he knows that, but they can use the Dragon Balls to bring him back here. Goku and Manito are pretty shocked on that one, and watch as he goes out to find the Dragon Balls. Goku is actually pretty excited now too, since maybe he is related to this Bardock guy, and if he spared these Cerulean's, then maybe he isn't as bad as Vegeta. Luckily, Goku's dragon radar he brought is able to detect these balls as well, and since there's only two, they managed to find them in literally no time flat. Once gathered, Granola summons Toronbo, and asks for the Saiyan warrior, known as Bardock, to be brought to this planet. Toronbo tells Granola that the one named Bardock has been dead for many years now, so he can't be brought here normally. Though, if he wants to revive him and bring him here, he can do that, but it'll come with a cost. 
Goku asks what that cost is, and Taranbo states that he can indeed bring him back here, but he won't be able to stay alive for long since he's been dead for so long. He'll only be able to stay in the land of the living for a max of three years, and after that, he'll be sent back to the other world. Granola tells him that's fine, and to bring him here anyways. Taranbo grants the wish, and Bardock is brought to Planet Serial. Goku and Bardock lock eyes, with Goku realizing that, yeah, they do look very similar, and Bardock looks in shock, asking if this is really Kakarot. Goku is surprised to hear his Saiyan name, as that's what Raditz and Vegeta called him, and he asks if Bardock knows who he is. Bardock says of course he knows who he is, he is his father. Goku is blown back by that realization, and is really happy. He always wanted to meet his real father, so he runs over to give him a hug. Bardock isn't used to affection like this, and just pats him on the back, asking what happened, and where's Frieza? And where are they right now? Goku and Granola explain everything that happened since Frieza destroyed Planet Vegeta, and Bardock is all caught up now, and is also pretty shocked to learn that he can only be brought back for three years. It's a lot to take in. Granola says that he was the only person who was able to defeat Gas, and asks how he was able to do it. Bardock says that after he saved him and his mom, he went to fight off Gas, and while he did have a rough time with him summoning his key weapons, it wasn't that hard to find openings and take him out. Granola asks if he thinks he can fight him again, and Bardock says that it's been many years since he's fought him, so he's definitely gotten stronger. Right now, he just wants to reconnect with his son, and see what the Super Saiyan form is really made of. Goku says that yeah, they can, and they can also find a way to train and find gas all at the same time. Goku yells out to King Kai and asks him what planet that Yardrat came from, so he can go and learn that teleportation thing. King Kai tells him it's a planet called Yardrat, and it's not too far away from where they are now. The Yardrat who brought him also put in a good word to his people, so they'll definitely accept him. They'll prepare to go to Yardrat to train, and Bardock says that after they're all done this, he'd like to bring back Ine and Raditz as well, so he can say a proper goodbye to them and introduce Goku to them. He may not be able to be revived for very long either, but he would love to rekindle with them before he has to go. Goku says he would love that, though he's pretty concerned about Raditz trying to kill him again. Luckily though, Bardock is his father, so he should be able to discipline him. Once the group all arrive on Yardrat, they meet with Paibara, who begins to teach them all about instant transmission. Well, Goku is able to get right into it since he's pretty pure and got a good word in about him, but for Granola and Bardock, they need to cleanse their tough spirit in order to learn this move. So, upward through the training of proper spirit control. This Yardrat training goes very well, as it gives these three a chance to connect more, with Granola apologizing to Bardock for thinking he killed his mother, and Goku apologizing for thinking that Bardock abandoned him. They get more and more powerful, with Goku trying to show Bardock the Super Saiyan form, as it's what Frieza apparently feared, and he didn't even need it to take him down, so that's just how powerful he's gotten. Bardock has a basic understanding of the Super Saiyan form down now, but doesn't quite have the power to actually get it just yet. He's hoping he'll be able to soon though. A few months into it, Goku is able to learn the instant transmission, and master it well enough. Well, Granola gets it a little while after, and finally, Bardock kinda gets the hang of it too. Paibara is proud of his students for learning the moves so fast, and asks if they want to learn the other moves in Spirit Control as well. But Granola tells him that they only really had time for this one, and maybe they'll come back another time. Since Granola is able to sense Ki now, he hones in on the heater's powers, and tells Goku and Bardock to follow his Ki signature, as he's going directly to them. At the heater's base, Granola instant transmissions right in front of them, surprising them all since he just popped out of nowhere. Alex says that was a fancy trick by Granola, and they've missed him. They thought he was killed by Vegeta a while back, but now, here he is, back to work with them again. Granola curses at Alec, saying he knows the truth about what they did to his mother, and today is the day where he finally stops them for good, and he's not gonna do it alone. Suddenly, Goku and Bardock appear right next to him, and the heaters gasp, with gas looking directly at Bardock and saying, You. Bardock smiles and says, Yeah, it's me. Are you ready for round two? And that's where we're going to be leaving things for right now. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and the return of Bardock, even if it isn't a permanent one. Next time, we're going to be battling the heaters and head back to Earth to deal with the androids, if they make it out of this one. Remember, if you want to see the next part faster, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Since again, this video gets 450 likes, then I'll be sure to work on the next one faster. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, see you later!